Good morning. We got a little plan here from Farmington, New Mexico, which is Four Corners. Four Corners is right a little bit northwest of the airport. And uh, the Four Corners, as you probably recall, is Idaho, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. And we're going to go, actually, we may see Shiprock. Uh, that was surprised me on my trial run. <laughs> I saw this beautiful rock sticking out of the out of the high desert and uh, so we we may see ship rock and as we go down here this is this is all the Grand Canyon right through here this is the Colorado River probably coming down like there and then we go on and here is Lake Mead and Las Vegas and then Edwards Air Force Base, this, uh, this scramjet uh, was originally flown back in probably the, the early 60s, they had scramjets. Now it's not a complicated engine, it's a, it's a uh, ramjet, but it allows, the ramjet had to have subsonic air uh, feeding, feeding the fire, uh, entering the engine, and uh, it's just a uh, just a pipe, a pipe with combustion taking place in it. And uh, the scramjet takes sup supersonic air and, uh, and processes it uh, to take you to supersonic speeds. Hypersonic is sometimes the term they use. Now the reason I, I pick Edwards is, uh, is that Edwards was where all this took place. The speed of sound, the first time, the X X1, Bell X1, uh, broke, the, broke the speed of sound, and, and uh, Chuck Yeager, I might remember a few of these names, he's gone now, so Chuck Yeager, and uh, what they had to do is a, it was a rocket plane, so they had to take it up to altitude uh, under a B-29, and they dropped it, and then they ignited the, the rocket and uh, got to go through the sound barrier. Then we jump ahead to the X-15, which was the last manned uh, rocket aircraft to fly with a, with a pilot, manned. I did say manned, and the man in that case was Major William Knight. William Knight, in, the, in probably around 68, it might have been, the late, late 60s, uh, went uh, 4,520 miles per hour. That was six Mach 6.7, and he got uh, that up to 102,000 feet in altitude. And it is it was probably one of the more dangerous uh, uh, flights, <laughs> other than the what the astronauts did. That's pretty dangerous. But uh, anyway, they got to where they needed to needed to get, and uh, they got into into the uh, satellite uh, stuff and going getting into Earth orbit. Uh, but they still think that there's a use for scramjets at some time in the future uh, for aircraft, and so they're still playing around with it. And Boeing has an X-43 which is unmanned and a little bit uh, smaller, so you're not pushing as much weight around. They still drop it from an aircraft, which is now the B-52, and that's been able to go 7,310 uh, 7, miles an hour. That's unmanned, and it's getting up uh, into, the, into thin air. I'm sure they have thrusters to keep it, keep it under control, because once you get in the thin air, the airfoils aren't going to keep the airplane flying right. This, uh, this Dark Star, uh, I don't know whether it has thrusters or not, it's a, it's a uh, uh, mythical aircraft, but smaller versions do exist, 
and uh, they look a little bit like it, like the X-43A, uh, which Boeing is playing with, is, uh, is similar. And, uh, and it does come back and land on, uh, land on, and they probably operate these out of Edwards Air Force Base. That's where we're going. Here's L.A. So after we pass Vegas, we'll probably be able to see, we'll definitely be able to see the lake and these other things. And uh, then it's a little bit difficult for me to see at, uh, at 100,000, 120,000 feet to spot Edwards. So I'm going to go here. I was landing at Santa Barbara, but I'm going to try to try to turn it at uh, Mach 9. We're going to we're going to get up to Mach 9. So turn it at Mach 9 and turn on up and land up here at Monterey. And uh, we'll we'll. We have a little trouble spotting the Bixby Bridge, which isn't important. We go along here and go past Big Sur, which uh, we're at that point. We turn the scramjet off and get back to the turbo turbojet. So that's our route, and here we go. We're gonna we're gonna do that flight, and we're gonna probably do it in, oh maybe maybe 15, 15 minutes from New Mexico. And I'll have that in the discussion part of the YouTube when I make the YouTube. I don't know where this scene is, but it's a pretty picture of the sunrise, I believe. Somewhere. Maybe it's the Tower Azores. Five, Bravo Charlie, ready for west departure at runway two five. So I Experimental 527, Bravo Charlie, altimeter 29, decimal 9 or 2, wind 261 at tree. Departure okay. to the west approved. Okay, departure to the west. This little looks like, so we're going to head 250. This is our course line right down here on the bottom of the screen. We're going to try to maintain that course, and that'll take us over the items that I suggested. And we're, our other target is... Uh, uh, Mach 9 and uh, we got uh, some other other things to consider here um, we're gonna uh, go down first we gotta remember to take off the brakes uh, we're gonna look out here and uh, the brakes are off I had the spoilers which uh, they are spoilers they're the vertical uh, stabilizers on the back of the airplane there and they splay out and that's uh, air brakes air brake to slow us down I will use those but we don't want to use them for takeoff because we'll that'll inhibit our ability to get off the ground okay so here we are at Farmington and we're ready to go we're already at 5500 feet so it is high there and uh, we're we're ready to go. Oh, I want to do one other thing is take this down here because we're going to go fiddle with these these uh, these little guys per putting them up to uh, uh, get get the uh, afterburners going. We got to use afterburners to get up to Mach 3 and then the scramjet takes over. So that's ready. We'll look out here for our, t our takeoff. And that gets a little, little squirrely, but we'll see if we can keep the squirrels away. Well, it's not so squirrely today. Okay, pull back a little. Get this thing pumping. Gear up. Experimental okay. seven, Bravo Charlie. Continue for west departure. Experimental 7, Bravo Charlie, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Okay. Farmington Tower Experimental 527, Bravo Charlie, frequency change. There we go. We're off and running. Don't think I've forgotten anything. Got the gear up. That was smooth. Now we'll get the, uh, get the, uh, this sucker going. There we go. 
Yeah, we got both afterburners going. Now we'll look look out for ship rock. We're on course. It's a little bit to the right. Let's see if we can get looking down here in the left hand corner. We see we're at point nine eight Mach. So we'll, we kind of keep the nose down a little bit to break break through that. Okay, we broke through the sound barrier. I didn't hear any explosion. Ah, there's ship rock. <laughs> the computer it has a delay. As you get close, it doesn't have everything in high definition. Uh, all at once, the whole screen isn't, but as you get closer, the things that are in high definition that have been handcrafted pop up because it takes extra, extra work for the computer to do that. So there's ship rock right there. And we're still accelerating. We're losing a little bit of altitude, but we're looking at ship rock. Okay, the course is off to our left slightly. Okay, we're at 145. Okay, there goes ship rock. Okay, now we're going to go back inside here. Back to the center. There we go. One point six. Now we're gonna gonna go down here, turn on the, the batteries, whatever that does, and get the scramjet in standby, get it get it armed. And we're now at at 1.7 we got to get up to 3 for the scramjets to, to light up and then our next uh, next adventure will be uh, the Grand Canyon so, Mach 2 For some reason, at a certain altitude, uh, things get quiet, which is nice. I like quiet. Okay, now the scramjet's gonna going to ignite. There goes the scramjet, and the uh, turbines will uh, shut down. There they shut down. Now we have to f look at the fuel. We'll just give that all the fuel we need. And we're at Mach 6. And 60,000. Now we're really, we've turned into a rocket. Wow, it really gets quiet. <laughs> so, get it, get it back on course here. 70,000 feet. I think I see the Grand Canyon coming up. Mach 7. <coughs> Gotta get my voice back. <coughs> yeah. Mach 8. 90,000 feet. Starting to see it glow red. There's the Grand Canyon. Mach 9. Okay, now we'll try to get it get it leveled off. And it'll ride on up to 120,000 feet. Uh, 
Okay, there's the Grand Canyon. Looks like a little ditch from here. I didn't say little bitch. Little ditch. 9.7. And we're coming down a little. Try to hold 100. We can go between 100 and 120. But it seems to like right right in this area. Here comes the, the rate of climb right there. And we'll get this back back level. And here is Lake Mead in Las Vegas already. It took me about two hours at 180 miles an hour one night out of Farmington in the Comanche. We're still at Mach 9 at 100,000 feet. And then right here past the, this is where Lake Mead exits and heads south from the dam. Right now there's not much water, but Las Vegas sits right right in there. So we're a little bit right of course now, but we wanted to see Las Vegas and uh, Lake Mead. What's it will probably doesn't show that much there right now. And this is Las Vegas, right, right there. And we're still at Mach 9. Usually I, I yo-yo as I fly along. Okay, the next, uh, the next thing we see is Edwards Air Force Base, if we see that. That's been a little more difficult to spot. And we want to be a little bit to the right of course because we're going to make a right turn and making this thing turn is not easy. And uh, this time we're keeping it, keeping it right at, uh, so we see the Pacific Ocean coming in out here. And I think I'm going to leave, leave it drift off course it's not necessary that we see see uh, Edwards Air Force Base, but uh, the dry lake bed. Uh, let's see see if we see see this uh, this go go by, and and we can we can go here, and I set that as the destination, so we'll know when to look out for Edwards yeah it's coming up so yeah this is that's Edwards right there that's Edwards Air Force Base boom so now we make the right turn we can look out toward my old destination was Santa Barbara which we'll see the Channel Islands LA would be over in here would be a beam of us that might be Catalina there Here's the Channel Islands, Santa Barbara. It's going to be right, right in there. We're still at Mach 9. Now we don't need this anymore. And we're seeing uh, Central Valley. <clears throat> okay, now we want to want to make a, a turn to the right. That's Santa Barbara right down down along in there. Probably probably right along in here is Santa Barbara. And then we go up the coast. Seeing Monterey Bay up here, 
I don't know whether I'll spot Big Sur, but Big Sur is right along in here. And we're slowing down, we're coming down, which is fine. Sorry, I, I lost my microphone. I don't know whether you could hear me screaming. <laughs> okay, let's see see where we are. We're off the, the coast south of Monterey. We've got it got it back down and we can we can turn off the scramjet. We're not gonna be using that anymore. See, about gate seven. I think I think that's 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 good enough. We could light off the, uh, but we're only going to get uh, a tenth of a mop with point eight seven. We don't want to go supersonic again, and yeah, we want to stay stay down at the this altitude. This is going to be our initiating point for uh, approach into uh, Monterey over Pacific Grove. Uh, we'll kick it up here. We'll kick it up. We'll kick it up. Down to 300 feet. I think uh, this is Big Sur right in here, and uh, way up there is uh, Santa Cruz going up toward, and I think the Monterey Bay is, is right there ahead of us. We're so low, we can't get that perspective. Looks like the Big Sur coast to me. Yeah, there's, there's Point Sur. Right there, Big Sur. There's uh, there's the the Big Sur right there. The mountain you go inland right there. Go to the river in the campground where my son and grandson like to go camping. 
Big Sur Marathon starts down there. Now we're starting to see the perspective. Here's Carmel Valley. Monterey, uh, Carmel Bay, Point Lobos, the Highlands, Carmel Highlands, Pebble Beach. Now we got to slow her down. Pop back up to 10,000 feet. See a little airplane on approach to Monterey, which is right over there. Okay, we'll splay out the tail to slow it down. And we'll take a look at what we're going by here. The Highlands, Point Lobos, Monastery Beach. Right in there, there's Whalers, Whalers Cove, right there at Point Lobos. And then Carmel Valley. There's right, right there with, uh, with this, uh, this being Carmel Bay. Pebble Beach, Stillwater Cove, and uh, then we're going to be going in right here at, uh, here we'll just point out a couple of golf courses. So Pebble Beach Golf Course is uh, right along, right in here on Stillwater Cove. We come around here, Cypress Point, up on the hill would be Poppy Hills. Spyglass would be right over here. Monterey Peninsula Country Club. You're right there. I forget the name of the lake. And then you see uh, Pacific Grove right over there. Spanish Bay. Uh, and uh, they have an 18-hole course right there. And where we, where we enter the, the final course, we go in right there is where the, the uh, ILS is right, right down there. So we'll slow this down a little more, put the wheels down. See if we can get this thing landed. Yep, yeah, there are the wheels. So we're a little slow, we want to keep it up around 190. And we want to cross the shoreline here at about 2,000. 1,800 is where the glide slope is. There we're at 200. And we want to be coming down at about 1,000 feet a minute, so you have to add power. A little low. Oh, got to take off the, the brakes. Checklist. That's what I need is a checklist. That's Spanish Bay Hotel right under us. 300 room hotel. And we're on Pacific Grove is right under us right now. There's the Army Presidio, which is the Army Language School. Now we got to get it, get it, get it to slow down and come down. Playing playing yo-yo now. Now we're over Monterey. And we'll be going over my house. My house is right under the right wing tip. Okay, just relax. We're at good speed, a little high. Okay, stop the yo-yo. <laughs> little hard. A little hard. Have to use a little extra room to get this thing turned around. Hello, Monterey. And this is where I became an instructor. 
And it's also where I got my instrument rating. And that was when I had about 200 hours. So we're going to go right down here in front of the terminal. Because we want to show off our wares. This is where the airliners come in. And we'll right, right in front of the Golden Tea restaurant is right up here where you can sit and eat, eat and watch the airliners come and go. So we'll wave, wave to the, the diners in there. There's the air, airport. The Navy used to operate uh, over on this side of the field. And they have t t probably two big hangars like that over there, which was uh, when they had uh, World, World War II. That's Mount Toro over by Salinas over there. And... Uh, that's it. Thanks for riding along. Shut this off. I don't know where the main switch is. Probably, probably this this would do that. And uh, we're back, back on Earth. <laughs> Look down toward the toward the tower. Thanks for riding along. We'll, uh, we'll talk, uh, talk and fly soon, I hope. Take care.